Man, what a difference a few days makes. What's up? It's a holiday and I'm working. Or is it Sunday? I don't know. I wanted to work when nobody's around just because I wanted to and it's so peaceful today. All these commercial places I'm mowing is closed. There ain't much traffic out. Mm. Exterminators having a good peaceful day. I brought my extra no spill. <sighs> I'm gonna get a safety can. Those metal ones. That's what we always used back in the day was metal cans. I have no direction. I just want to talk to y'all guys, see what was up. Hope y'all have a great weekend. It's a holiday weekend. Don't forget why it's a holiday. David asked me. I'll try to reply in his reply to his thing. The last video I made it was raining. You see me get out, but it's beautiful today. So, you know, he said, do I use this or do I use it to wait, wait the trailer? No, man, I use this all the time. Like all the time. I have heels that this thing would do it, but it's too dangerous. If it ever took off a hundred miles an hour down the hill, weighing it 1400 pounds or whatever it weighs. This is just safer on certain hills. Now, this will do hills that really impress me and I would never believed it done it, but it'll do it. As long as them tires stay good, I'd say. But this is safer, way, way safer. And also, that won't fit into some places this will fit. This is 52, that's 61. I thought about getting a 61 SWZT after I... Well, I think I'm gonna get. I was thinking about getting another walk behind a new one for backup, or park this one in a new one, and then this would be the backup. Either way, and or. But then I realized, wait a minute, I can't survive without 52. Like you could say 48. Well, I don't want to use my 48s no more. I parked that other 48. I don't want to take lawns that I can't get in, unless I'm forced to. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if I got a big contract and they had some places that needed a 48, then I'd go get a 48. But if it's just a little residential, I don't, man, 48 is nice, but God, I'm spoilt to 52s and 61s. 61 being my preference, but yeah, man, I have to use this. That's why you'll see one of these on ever setup because even in Tennessee, I have yards that that thing won't fit in. And then I have a yard I haven't showed y'all that the stander is just too heavy and the backside heel it'll put marks in it do you see what i'm saying so a stander is not the end all be all of the lawn mowers it is in a way but once you get on these real soft heels or that's halves and that's has that's getting washed out you see what i'm saying like low vegetation and water's washing them out and you put this big Mama Jamma 1400 pounder. I don't know. It's something like 1400, 15, 12, 13, 14, 50, something like that. You just don't want to put that on there because it's going to rut it real bad. Nobody ever talks about that. It ain't just will it hold the hill, it's will it damage the hill. Now, these do damage hills. You need to change paths a lot because the tires are more narrow. I spaced these out and it has helped its top heavy, but it also hurt its turning because now my tires are further apart. So it's a wider wheelbase. So this thing does spin more going up hills and stuff. Turning, turning, not going up hills, just turning. So I sacrificed my maneuverability safer for a little bit more stability. Was it a good trade off? I don't know. I still got them. See? Still got the two inch spacers. I would like to come in with a wider wheel, to be honest with you. And then it could help prevent ruts. Because with that weight of this mower and a wider tire, well, shoot, son, it'd be good. But then again, wider tires ain't always better traction neither. Sometimes a narrower tire can get better traction. Like, that's why tractors have narrow tires. But we don't need to be mowing in the mud, so we need wider tires, in my opinion. But on a hillside, that tire is so aggressive, it does do damage if you ain't very careful. But I love it. 
love it because that thing's got the wheel motors are bigger than the 52 because they had to cut it out yeah let me show you this right fast i'm gonna make a video about this you see the wheel motors sticking out so my feet get stuck under them while i'm mowing the 52 you don't even see the wheel motors and i'm i think the pumps are the same but the wheel motors are bigger on this one and what that does is with that 38 and a half horsepower this god dang mower will spin the tire barely touching the barely touching the control levers i kid you not it's got <laughs> that's what i want it's got torque you just got to learn how to adapt to it if if anybody ever asks me do i regret that purchase of that 61 f no i regret my 52 inch purchase because of that engine that 52 had a would have been available in the vanguard then i wouldn't regret it i love that mower i just the power is not there when i'm going up hills it about wants to die this sucker right here stays about the same rpm on a flat ground as it does going straight up a hill and i go up hills so steep and straight up that people watch me and sideways watch me all the time on this thing they just can't believe it so i regret and when you're going up the hill you can't hardly you won't hardly pop a wheelie going up the hill unless you pull real i mean because all that engine weight and that big ginormous freaking mowing deck is gargantuous and then you put that big old 38 horse kawasaki yeah the front end does not i swear that's got to be the my favorite mower my 52 if it had a bigger engine on it it'd be a contestant but now i feel like the 52 so such a little mower because these forks and tires are so big everything's so much bigger and my green guard is doing wonderful i still need to i guys got a lot of bit i need to cut the height down because it goes lower other than that i do need to check to make sure no screws are coming loose nope it's tight as a pound i'd like to get a green guard for my other ones too but whew, expensive well not expensive i shouldn't say that they're worth the money it's just they're expensive when you start spending 400 dollars or whatever on multiple mowers and yes you can i could do it right now but at my age we try to save at my age because of retirement just because you have some disposable income and you know you could go afford it and you're when you're in your 20s and early 30s you're like yeah man because i've done odd all i've bought 700 and some dollars sulkies thinking it's better than this and now i've bought so much stuff for the business now i'm like mm, now that i'm saving an absolute fortune working this route by myself from labor cost and you know i always bought like whoever's with me food so i'm saving money on dinners every day and gas and i notice i'm doing the same amount of weed eating as i always did even with a helper i'm saving twice as much gas because i don't spill it <laughs> We know who spills it. If he ever watches this, he knows who spilled constantly. I'm, he cost me so much money in gas, I don't even want to put a number on it. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars over the years. It was fun. It's kind of funny until it's not. Now that I'm starting to do my numbers more, with solo, I'm like, oh my gosh. That spilling gas every time, because he would get gas at every yard almost. Top it off, top it off, top it off, top it off, which was very annoying but you know he i think like every employee they don't own the business no matter how good workers they are they're going to do stuff to throttle back because there's a when i mow I, I let whoever mow with me and we get done at the same time and we weed eat so that means i'm doing the same job he's doing which is stupid i should make whoever's working for me do more weed eating and stuff but they'll wait and they they sandbag every employee i've ever had sandbags me 
to slow down to get done when I got done so that I would trim with them. That was my fault for letting it let everybody get away with it. Going forward, when I start getting back into I could hire somebody right now, I just ain't. Going forward, they're gonna be doing I'm I'm not doing that. I'm gonna say you're mowing this section. I know how long it takes, I'm gonna tell them. I've been doing these yards forever. I know how long it takes. So I'm gonna as soon as you get done, you start weed eating. I'm not going, there's a skag and a push mower. There's all kinds of people mowing today. And I'm going to tell them, that's just what's going to happen. I'm too nice to everybody and everybody will take advantage of nice people. And I'm going to get off here and mow. But the green guard is fantastic, boys. The skag is fantastic. The husvarnas are still, I've got all kinds of videos coming up about husvarna and talking about some things that somebody tried to make them look bad people so yeah anyway it's always somebody with some stick up their butt ain't they just be happy appreciate this holiday and i wish i'd actually mowed for y'all i could set this up and say just vision me going vroom, vroom, vroom. because i'm not a vlogger just imagine view, 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 view. see watch exterminator mow because i don't want to mow now i'm gonna make a mowing video when i make my shoot blocker review because i'm ready to i already love it i mean that they ain't no thing makes life so much easier peace and chicken gree.